Did you get it? You show me her first. <gasps> now you show me the money. Here it is. I keep my promises. <laughs> Sammy, are you kidding me? Who brings ransom in a piggy bank? Someone who has no choice, Sue. Tell me which money box that we made should I have brought instead, huh? Oh, you're right. Then maybe we can play another game? Like... Men in Black. I'll be Agent Sue. Agent Sue, this can no longer be happening. We are in desperate need of a suitcase for money. Meet me in five, Agent Sam. I have to change for the craft. Hi, everyone. Today we're going to make the coolest suitcase for money. Where you'll be able to keep all the shavings that you have. Hi, guys. Before we begin, we need to paint all of the pieces of our craft. So let's come up with the color. What do you say, Sammy? I vote for black, Susan. It should look real. Then black it is. Whoosh! <laughs> that was easy. Actually, nothing is hard about this craft. But guys, you should be very careful with the glue gun. There. We need to glue a few more pieces from all sides of this piece of cardboard. Like this. And the top lid of our case will be ready. So, don't you think that our case should be more trouble-proof than a simple cardboard box? Don't worry, Sammy, it will be. Check out this piece, guys. This part over here will kind of combine the upper and the lower lids of our case. Sue, did you know that there are a whole bunch of movies where they show a briefcase loaded with money? Like, only this website mentions 170 of them. Well, that idea came to mind. In fact, now that you said it, the first movie I thought about was Catch Me If You Can. The story of a guy who pretended to be a pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer while he was still actually in high school. A oh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you know everything about it. Here comes another piece. We need to do it like this. Done. As I already said, there's nothing complicated about this craft. Oh, I like that our case will be black. Do you guys? Then give a thumbs up. Whoa, so stop it. Guys, our money case will have a reliable combination lock. It's time to make it right now. Let's glue these pieces together so that we have two little wheels. And now we need to make them look neat. I'll show you one trick that all of you can perform. Wow! Sue, can you show me this one more time? Oh, sure, Sammy. Watch this. Hop! That was super easy, right, guys? I bet you also can show us a trick and subscribe to our channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, but, uh, Sue, why do we do that thing? Oh, I see. This way, not only these wheels will look good, but we'll also have some space to write the numbers for the code of the lock. Now I'll show you guys how we're going to use the rest of the parts of those cardboard strips. I've already made two more little wheels that are way smaller than the first ones. So, we take this cardboard strip and glue it around this wheel. Then we need to do the same with the second one. There, these pieces look like gears, right? And we've left a little opening right here. Watch this video till the end to find out why. What we need to do now is glue the smaller piece onto the bigger one. Be careful with the glue gun, guys. And the second one. Done! Sue, I sense that you're gonna need this piece of cardboard now. Right, Sammy. I suggest that we speed up the process a bit. We need a few more details for the locks. Voila! Now we'll take skewers and put all the pieces on them one by one. Susie, why don't you take one and I'll deal with the other? Oh, that'll be great, Sammy. Okay, follow my lead. This piece goes first. Guys, be very careful with the skewers because they can be very sharp. Next comes this round piece, followed by another one like this. Oh, I almost forgot about this little square. <laughs> It goes right here. Now we need to secure this whole construction with some glue. Be very careful. And done. But we also need to paint this piece. Guys, don't forget to make a small cut for the lock. And done! 
How's it going, Sammy? Did you manage to repeat what I did? Are you kidding me? I finished faster than you. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. <gasps> oh, a moment! Uh-oh, I need to make sure everything's perfect! Just admit it, you forgot to paint it, right? Uh, no, no, it's ready. Perfect! Then we're going to glue it over here. Guys, I want you to watch closely right now because I'm about to explain to you how our locks will actually work. We'll need two thingies like this one. There'll be some sort of hook that will hold the lid of the suitcase shut. Like this, you see? If this piece doesn't go through this opening, the case stays closed. And to make sure that it does go through the opening, we'll roll these two wheels. What shoe? I thought you were talking about a code. What will it be? Hmm, let's see. We should come up with two digits, one per lock, and then we'll have a two-digit code. Oh, I know. Let's make a deal. I'll go and glue these strange-looking pieces to the case's lid while you pick one digit. Then we'll switch turns. Oh, that's actually a nice idea. Let's do it. At first, we'll use the marker to divide this wheel into sections like this. Guys, I start from number five to make Sam a bit confused. <laughs> hey, give me the marker, please. Thanks. Guys, while Sam is busy, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. I promise you won't regret it. Now we'll see who confused whom. I tricked Sammy a bit. I can easily find out what his number was. Check it out. We'll turn this wheel a bit and... It works! <laughs> but we still aren't done with this craft yet. So I've been thinking, even though this case looks great as it is in the movies, they show these looking more, uh, expensive. Uh, what are you saying? Why don't we decorate the inside part of our money case with this gorgeous red velvet fabric? Ugh. I think that's a great idea, Sammy. Let's do it! Guys, be very careful with the scissors. And before cutting anything, make sure that you took all the measurements properly. And we're done! Let's apply some glue. Be careful with the glue gun, guys. Okay, this will be enough. And now we'll evenly spread the fabric all around the inside part of the money case. Oh, this will take some time. Let me help you, Susan. Samuel the Great is at your service. Ahem. Alakazoo-alakazam! <laughs> Oopsie, wrong spell. <laughs> Bibbidi-bobbidi-subscribidi! That's better. Wow, guys, just look how awesome our case looks. You were right, Sammy. Decorations make the deal. Actually, I also have one idea. Can I borrow your magic wand, please? Here it is, Shu. Ahem. <clears throat> Decoriticus. <laughs> Did you also pronounce the wrong spell? <sighs> Not exactly. Check this out. This piece over here will hold the lid of our case. Doesn't it look even more real now? All we've left to do is to add a few decorative elements on the outside. I'd say golden edging will look great on a black suitcase for money. For this, we'll need the glue gun again. Okay. Let's start from here. I must admit, Sue, your taste for matching colors is just perfect, but our case is still missing one little thing. I know, Sammy. A handle. We'll make it right now in no time. We'll need more cardboard. Three popsicle sticks. And some glue. Don't forget to be careful with the glue, Susie. I'm on it, Sammy. Oh my! Time to bring my treasure that will keep in that case! <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> and here it is! Guys, why don't we take a minute and check out our suitcase in all its glory?
you won't crack that coach, Susan. We'll see about <gasps> that, little slime. Shoo! Oh, How are you even able to guess the number I picked? <laughs> Relax, Sammy. Great minds think alike. <gasps> Sammy, where did you get all that? Ah, uh, don't worry, Susie. That's fake gold. Oh, nice. Guys, I hope you enjoyed our craft today. See you very soon on our channel. Goodbye. See ya, boys and girls. <laughs>